Hello, I'm Derek Cord of the Sanders Brown Center on Aging Alzheimer's Disease Center in Lexington, Kentucky. The second Sunday in June is designated to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease and its impact on African American communities. Memory Sunday is an initiative of the National Brain Health Center for African Americans, a program of the Bomb in Gilead. The Sanders Brown Center on Aging is proud to partner with the Bomb in Gilead in this initiative. Please listen to Marquita Yarbrough interview local Lexington minister, Pastor Leon Slatter, as they discuss Alzheimer's disease and the importance of participating in research. Welcome, Pastor Slatter. We thank you for being here during our first virtual Memory Sunday event. We appreciate your hosting previous events. And the purpose of Memory Sunday is to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease and its impact on the African-American community. We would like to start out by just asking you a few questions on the importance of participating in research. My first question would be, what has motivated you to participate in research? Uh, probably, well, not probably, um, starting to understand the value of research, starting to understand, um, you know, especially what it means to our community as a whole, but, but in particular, uh, with me being African-American, understanding uh, how valuable it is to have African-Americans uh, participate in research. Um, matter of fact, I just got off the telephone talking to a member of ours as it has to do, she's having uh, heart failure or whatever the case oh, might yeah. be. And so, um, but she explained to me the particular aspect of it and uh, we talked about it and, and, and the whole thing about research came up in that uh, oh. because I was telling them what I was gonna be doing later today. But there are some things that fit, affect us as African-Americans different. And, I, and, and I'm sure that has to do with other ethnic groups, uh, but, but, but I understand, I'm starting to understand that in order for us to get the, um, the um, medical needs, our medical needs met as African-Americans, um, somebody got to <laughs> be willing to participate uh, in the research aspect of it so that um, um, they can start to understand how to address our needs. And so this whole thing about uh, Memory Sunday was a kind of, you know, uh, pathway for me start to understand that. And of course, uh, our involvement with Sanders Brown, I'll give you all a little commercial there, amen. But it's, uh, and that's the truth, that's the truth of it. Uh, <clears throat> but the educational proponent of all of that start to help me to understand the need. That's so great, Pastor Slider, because you, as you indicated or were alluding to, is that we're two to three times more likely to be impacted by Alzheimer's disease. And I just would ask this, though, does research participation conflict with your faith in any way? No, not, not at all. And especially as I understand, um, when I think about, and, and you know, as a believer, as a uh, Christian believer, um, you know, Jesus Christ was all about healing. He was all about healing, man. And, and Jesus Christ was a healthy man himself, amen. And uh, with, with all the healing that he did, uh, anything that I can do, and it, 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 I, it, as a Christian, to make it uh, uh, more, more convenient and better in terms of uh, being able to help other people in general, but especially again here, as it has to do with African-Americans. So it doesn't conflict with my belief system at all. Um, I, I was thinking in the process of this, you know, uh, it is believed that Jesus Christ could walk 20 miles approximately a day, in a day. Man, 
I, I can't even start to comprehend that. Now, don't hold me to that exact number, but he could walk uh, a fair, far distance in a day, and he had to be healthy to do that. And yes. so because of who he is and what he represented in terms of health and so forth and so on, I just, you know, I, I think being involved in research is an extenuation of that whole Thing there, if you if if you understand what I'm saying, amen. Oh, amen, amen. That is good to yeah. I, I I appreciate how you put that. That probably would open a door and help us to overcome some of our apprehension about participating in research and if it was meant for us. But yeah, we want the medicines to work for us. So yes. in order for that to happen, we have to participate in research. Mm -hmm. And with that said, um, I guess. If you were to give a message to us, you know, as it relates to African Americans research participation, what message would you give to just uh, encourage us to even do more? You know, we 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 all can do something. So, what message would you give for us to do more? Well, Marquita, um, the older I get, the more uh, I think in terms of realness. Uh, just the way things are. And when I think about uh, the whole aspect of participating in research as an African-American, and I start to understand in my mind, I, I you know, I, I want to encourage people and, and at the same time say that I understand the skepticism that African-Americans have toward research. And I, and I sincerely understand that. I... Uh, you know, the doubt, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's something that has to be overcome. Uh, and I think what you all are doing and the way you all approach this, uh, especially in terms of uh, reaching out to the African-American community, not, not just trying to get them involved in research, but start to help them, uh, help us understand, you know, um, the medical aspects of how we can live a better life and so yeah. forth, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, I understand that. I, um, um, and, and here's the thing, I think for me, has been the educational component of um, participating in um, uh, Memory Sunday and other aspects of uh, some things by virtue of the fact that we got connected with Sanders Brown, you know, in, you know, even some of the um, uh, national conferences that we participated yeah. in and first one thing and another, the educational aspect of all of that has helped me to feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what is needed in the African-American community. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and let me say this to you, and I think for anybody, um, I, I want to reiterate the fact that I understand the skepticism. Um, and, you know, nobody wants to be uh, just used or taken advantage of. And I don't need, I, I hesitate to even bring those terms up. But it's, you know, the realness of understanding all that. But, man, we, we need to do whatever we can um, to not only uh, do better for ourselves, but to do better for our families and our neighbors, amen, whoever amen. they are, I, 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 if that makes sense at all. Absolutely, Pastor. Uh, we are so appreciative of the fact that you have, again, uh, hosted several uh, brain health events for us. In addition to Memory Sunday, we love the fact that you open the doors to your church to allow us to come in to talk to people about brain health, as you alluded to. And it's it's very important. You know, it's not just about uh, Memory Sunday, but it's it's all about you know getting the information out to the community. Uh, exactly. about some of the the very the health disparities that impact us even more. So we're very grateful to you and and we continue to look forward to working with you in the future and we appreciate your taking the time with us to to be a part of this virtual memory Sunday event. And thank you so much Pastor Slatter and uh hey with that being said I I think uh this is a good segue into letting you get on with the rest of your day. <laughs> God bless you. We appreciate it. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Snyder. You have a wonderful day. You too now. Take care. Memory Sunday is June 13th, 2021. For more information, contact Marquita Yarbrough of the Sanders Brown Center on Aging at telephone number 859-218-3867.